Hello and welcome to Monkey Dicks Meets, where we meet ordinary people doing extraordinary things. In this episode, we meet the Skidmore Flea and its inventor, Rick Skidmore. We've all dreamt about putting an engine on a push bike, but Rick actually did it. Let's meet him and find out more. Viva the Monkey Revolution. So Monkey Dicks Adventures, I'm here to meet the inventor and maker of the Skidmore Flea. I'll let you introduce himself. Hiya, Richard Skidmore, firefighter, inventor of the flea. Fantastic. So first things first, I'll just show the flea. This is the flea, the Skidmore flea. So first of all, wh where's the Skidmore flea come from? I started out by getting me 19 year old lad, I believe he was 19 at the time, got him on these little Chinese engines from eBay, bit of a novelty Christmas present, true to form, two years later, still in box. Decided to put it on a push bike, grew arms and legs, he didn't want the cops to get me, but I couldn't test it, got it rolled legal, and he decided to base it on, I was looking for one of these at the time, it's a Royal Enfield flying flea. If you look at some of the Guy Martin stuff, it's one of these ones that they built to chuck out in parachutes, in crates on eBay. Yeah. So I modelled it on that. As you see, the old army, army green and the uh, the old tanks and stuff. If you've got an imagination, it does resemble it. <laughs> it does. It's fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful bike. But what were the main obstacles to actually uh, building this? Because I mean, a lot of a lot of blokes think about doing something like this, but you've actually done it. Yeah, I've <laughs> had some comments on another website saying people have got stuff in boxes, and my advice would do it. But you ask about the main obstacles. Number one, getting a VIN stamped. Yeah. You could do the VIN yourself, but you need a garage to sign it off. Yeah. So that might be the way forward. You've got to get these little blocks. Uh, the main things for the MSVA test were the brakes and getting the correct uh, tyres. Yeah. Because it's 26 inch. Yeah. It's kind of not a tyre, and you need a low bearing and a speed bearing. So this is low uh, speed bearing type B, I think it is. It'll get you to 30 mile an hour. The bike will struggle to do that downhill, to be honest. It's a, 26, 27 mile an hour top, so I was happy with that. So tyres, uh, getting retro fitting disc brakes. That's why I've gone back to a caliper brake here. Yeah. I've got a disc brake for the old uh, front there, nice Hulk disc brake. Uh, but I would say getting the tyres and getting the VIN number done. Okay, so uh, what advice would you give to somebody making a similar conversion? Yeah, do it. Absolutely do it, do it yeah. yeah. I, I, I've said this all the time, I'm driving Mrs. Mad doing it. Why pay your taxes that can die and just do that? Yeah. Uh, you get these engines for about, I think about 150 quid bit, the whole yeah. kit. Get that sorted, you've got a bit of wasteland, a bit of a back road, green road, you can do that. Uh, this is about 60, they advertise 80cc and 100cc. I think yeah. the displacement 66 and 80, but for the flat it's brilliant. You'll need pedals to go up hills, because I'm not happy with hills, but just putting around, build it, brilliant. I've come across obstacles, I, I've circumvented, I've learned so much about engines, electrics, uh, the rig and roll of um, the MSVA, the DBLA, it's been brilliant. And once you're on it on a day like this, superb. Yeah. So, um, how long is it taking you to, to pull this together? I say on and off about three years. Not yeah. three years constantly, but I'm a family man, I've got job, yeah. work, shifts, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you come to one problem and your heart sinks a bit, and you start thinking, and then a couple of months later, you get back on it. So, yeah. All in all, about three years Fantastic. from start to finish. Fantastic. So where have you been on it? I've been, uh, I've been round uh, Beverly, yeah. North Yorkshire. That's where the uh, MSVA was done. Yeah, so yeah. I've been round there with my mum, because it's nice and flat, it's nice. Basically, I go round here to the shops, I've got all the eggs. Yeah. There's a lovely countryside round there. Yeah. I avoid the hills, because you do need a pedal on hills. Yeah. But however, it'll cope with it. Uh, so Audley Edge, Wilmslow, all the local Peak District, it's yeah. lovely. Fantastic. For a day like this, I just put it around. As, okay. you, as you'll find out yourself, you've got people, hey, you can stop, you can have a chat. <laughs> people are amazed by it, they love it. And it's yeah. nice, nice for bringing people together, especially men, to be honest. Yeah. Because a lot of blokes, and I know we were talking about mental health and men uh, talking, it brings yeah. people out. I think they see a bit of freedom in it. You can do it. This is what you can do, get out and do it. Fantastic. You know, it's uh, take me hat off to you. It's, uh, it's a fantastic piece of work. I'll show uh, I'll show the viewers the uh, it close up in a minute, but uh, yeah, what what you know what have you got coming next? So if this is you know <laughs> what's after this? Well, we're allowed to be MXs, so that's yeah. taking a bit of time. All the cranks, all the ratios, all that kind of madness. But for me, I've just done. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Right. I add a frame. 
Okay, that's yeah. a frame. I put an electric <laughs> motor on it. Yeah. And it's a kit. I've not done anything clever here, just yeah. for it, but the wheel kept trying to fall off. So what I've done, I've got one of these style plumber frames here. <laughs> so I put, it's a 1500 watt motor. I am going to restrict it for the road. I'm going to do that with a switch on the cord. Yeah, yeah. So I've just got it this week because I've had the week off. So I've got all my stuff there. To be honest, it's a lot more robust. Yeah. It's heavier, which yeah. is a pain. It might drain my battery a bit more. But this is how I'm getting to work. Because I have used the road, you see. So Fantastic. This is the next bit. After this, it might be a bit more of a powerful motor. But I just like the motor by it look. It's, uh, some people say, well, they don't know what it wants to be. But yeah. It's quite good. Can you? Made, made a little one for oh, me yeah. up there, look. <laughs> I'm just putting his new controller on because I burnt it out. Fantastic. So made a little goes to school on that. It's, uh, yeah. Bloody hell. Luckily he's mighty wet now, mate. <laughs> and he's really good with, with going sideways yeah. on the roads there. He's really good, got good road set. He doesn't go on the road, obviously. It's on so, the pavement. So Rick, do you want to just talk me talk me over the bike from the front to the back? Let yes. me know what you've uh, what you've done on it and uh, right, basically sorry, nice oldie type e saddle, nice leather saddle. Yeah. In the Ukraine, I think that was. That's on. This is the original bike uh, original frame that yeah. I got from Dave down at bikes on, on Parkway. Yeah. Uh, what came with it was um, so when you get the kit, yeah. you get this engine block, yeah. you get a small carburetor, you get a different exhaust, yeah. and what else do you get? You get the petrol tank. Okay. Uh, yeah, and you get all the little magneto and all this kind of stuff, the little fusy boxy thing. You were here. saying that that's the two litre petrol tank, isn't it? It that's, is, two yeah. litre, yeah. yeah. So you get that. Now, what I've done, I put that originally on an oldie typey Pashley bike. Yeah. But what else you get? You get the chain, you get this bit here, this sprocket. Getting that onto old type bike was a nightmare, so yeah. I just sacked that. Yeah. So I ended up putting it on this. It was all painted blue before, so I painted it. <laughs> I've got the uh, protector on. I've wired it up, so the, you've got the, everything that's road legal. You've got the horn. Yeah. You've got one of the mirrors. Yeah, yeah. I've got two of the mirrors in the box. I'm going to give you uh, a little thing for me uh, for me jets and what have you. All the electrics. See the switch. Um, the indicators. The obviously the plate, rear uh, yeah. display and brake, front, and then uh, what else I've done is I've cleverly, I think, yeah, hollowed these two out, yeah, put some webbing around it, which was lucky because before it was like working with big be uh, uh, corned beef t tins, yeah, <laughs> so I put some of this out. So if that starts yeah. coming off, you need to glue that on, yeah. So there's a battery in there that I made, yeah. So while I've done this, I've got into making batteries as well. Gosh. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, that's something else. Another, another whole discussion. Yeah. So a homemade battery in there with a BMS, so it's nice and safe yeah. for charging. In here, do you want me to open it up? Yeah, you go. I was using marine grade uh, solder, but it's a pain to be honest because you don't keep having to to change stuff. So I've got the old Wagos. These, yeah. These are a godsend for electrics. Everything's all wired up. Look. Yeah. You can see what everything goes to. Fantastic. So I've done all the wine myself, relay for the indicators. So I've learned all that. I've learned all that. It's brilliant. I'll just leave that off for a quick sec. Yeah. So it's been quite a quite a learning experience, has it, it has, been doing this? It has. Yeah. Uh, I've got a racing uh, cylinder head top. So this is another rabbit hole you get down yeah. down to. <laughs> you get all you can get all that ported and yeah. different heads and all this kind of madness and massive great um, carburetors and air filters and stuff. I was going to head down that, but to be honest, that's another project for another time for somebody else yeah yeah uh, put a i revert to the caliper brake yes yeah. retrofitting a cylinder brake or a disc brake it just what this didn't feel right it didn't at all. no no so going back to caliper with that i've got a nice hook brake at the front yeah there, which is pretty much bulletproof uh what else have we done i'll just turn the lights on for you there you go excellent so there we go indicators all Fantastic. So that's our electrics. There's a little, yeah. little bolt meter there telling you when you're about to run out. Yeah. Right. And all you do is you take the battery out. Yeah. Get your yeah. charge. So yeah. It's only, it's only, it's only uh, I think it's four batteries. It's a 12 volt battery in, in total. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Nice and easy. Oh, fantastic. Look <laughs> at that. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's a work of art, mate. Absolute no, work of you. art, really. I have enjoyed doing it, and it is, as I seriously, a heavy heart to let it go. However, Oh, other people can enjoy it and see you about on it. Yeah. So um what we're gonna do is this this Oh that's that's a premix, yeah. Yeah. So what I've done, I'll just get this on. Sorry mate. So 
So that's where I put my uh, spare premix because a couple of times I've been caught out. Luckily, I've had yeah. my premix in there. Yeah. So that'll let it hold another litre. Yeah. So you, you get to judge how far you can go on it. Yeah. Okay. So it's been like a like a two stroke then, yeah? It is a two yeah, stroke, yeah. yeah. Premix. I think it's, what is it, 30. Oh, I'm going to have to check. About 30. Is it 36? Yeah. So what oil are you using for the for the premix? I'll show you what. Castro, all the way. Yeah. It's just there. it's been about 35 years since I last had a two stroke. Right. Uh, <laughs> let's have a look. Is it Castro premix? Chainsaw oil. Probably in the car. I'll uh, I'll get you it, mate, because I won't be using it anymore. Because Castrol, right. Castrol so, two stroke. My dad used yeah. to use Castrol, so that's always a nice Wakefield brand. <laughs> Fantastic. So you just mix that up in the bottle. Yeah. It's got little gradations here. All right. So, yeah, mine's thirty-two to one. Yeah. Pretty much there. In between these two, you're right. So 32 to 1, get the petrol up to there. Yeah. Go up to there, give it a really good mix before yeah, yeah. you put it in and go yeah. away. But that's Fantastic. just there, there. That's brilliant. Two litres, one litre. Yeah. And I keep explaining to some people at the fire station. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, you get really fired with all the petrol in there. And I keep saying, no. Yeah, it's not no got petrol, petrol in there. That's my electrics, <laughs> right? Now, five minutes later, how far can you go without that? No, God. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, on this CT that you were looking at on the video, uh, that I've got a, a spare tank on the side of that. Oh, right, yeah, right, right, right. just for the for, well parts of the North Coast 500, just to make sure yeah. I wasn't yeah. going to run out. No, run out there. no, no. Oh, it's fantastic, man! I just can't believe it. And these like the here. Yeah. So what's this off? Uh, that was that is actually a motorbike one. It didn't go in for the MSVA with that. Mm. It went in with a, a different type, and you had to make all brackets to fit yeah. this on. So it passed. It was all right. However, it was a a rigid frame one. Yeah. So every time you hit a pothole, poof, you felt oh, it. Yeah. You felt it. So I found the well. Dave at bikes gave it me afterwards. He just yeah. gave it me. So got that. Got this bracket. Makes it a lot easier to put that on. Yeah. And you don't feel everything either. No, no. Fantastic. <clears throat> can we hear it starting up? Of course you can. Right? Yeah. Right. Fingers crossing. So we're just gonna we're just gonna give it a couple of tugs. <laughs> yeah. Right. Petrol on. Here we go. So make sure your petrol's on. Yeah. A couple of squeezes. One, two, three, four, five. And this is the bit. So just a little bit of choke. Uh, well, you put the choke on. Yeah. A little bit of that. Yeah. And it should go within about five when you look. It was all right yesterday. You put the edit in. <laughs>
So if you've not already guessed, uh, I've bought the Skidmore flea off Rick Skidmore. Here it comes. Look at that! <laughs> Beaver, the monkey revolution. <laughs> Aye. So here it is, the Skidmore flea. Home. So the Skidmore flea has a new home. Welcome to the channel. Viva the Monkey Revolution.